Hello everybody, today I'm here to show you some of the thick products that I've used up recently. I have a really big bag down here, I've been keeping it in my old Lush bag, which is weird. It's not Lush stuff, it's just product and these. Um, before I get started, I want to throw in that the kids in my neighborhood are going up and down the sidewalk on scooters. So you hear like the da 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 when they hit the uh, cracks in these sidewalks, I'm sorry. I can't control that. I wish I was in the back of the house, but I'm in the front of the house, so you're gonna hear that stuff. And you're probably gonna hear them hollering and everything, carrying on. All right, I'm gonna start with the candles. Let me get them out of the bag. All right, I think I only have three candles from what I can tell. I might have smaller ones down there, but whatever, I'll get to them later. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is the Marshmallow, what is this, Marshmallow Fireside. I used this up a while ago. Oh, it smells really nice. It's just like just what you would want it to smell like if you were at um, a campground, you know, in front of the fire. That's what you would want it to smell like. I'm not saying that it does, but that's what I'd want it to smell like. The other one is Sparkling Icicles. I don't actually think I bought this. I think I got given it uh, at Christmas time. Now I can't actually remember. I can't remember. I think I got, I think it was a present at Christmas. I can't smell this one too well, but it was nice. It was a really just light scent that went well for the winter months. But that was a good one. The other one is the Cinnamon Sugared Donut. Oh my gosh, love this candle. They came out with it, I want to say it was last year, early last year. And I, was, I found the scent, I smelled it, loved it, and I could only find the One Wick Mason jars that they have. And so I bought, I had ended up with like two or three of them. I still actually have one of them sitting over on my counter because I was too afraid to burn it. I did not want to lose that scent. They came back with it, so I got like three three wick candles. And it just, <laughs> it smells exactly like a cinnamon sugared donut. And it makes me, it kind of makes me want a donut, I'm not going to lie. Oh my god. If you have the chance to smell that candle, I would definitely recommend it. I'm sure it's not for everybody, but I love it. So the next thing that I'm pulling out is the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. And there is actually like a little bit left in here, but I guess it wasn't pumping out. This stuff is awesome. You will have just seen me talk about how I repurchased this in my last video. Um, I just really like the setting spray. I like the prep spray by Urban Decay and I like the setting spray. Like I said before, I don't haven't noticed a whole lot of a difference between like the chill and the all nighter. I think I've used those two, but I feel like now there's even more than just those two. But I haven't noticed a whole lot of a difference between them. They're all just really good. All right, I'm kind of surprised I only have one of these, but it is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I only have one little package, which is pretty surprising because it's been like two or three months since I've done an empties video, which by the way, I'm not even gonna be able to show you guys everything that I have that's, that I've used up. Like I have a pile developing in my bathroom. So I'm probably gonna have to do another video in like a month or two. I might have to do one later. Well, maybe I'll try to wait till May. <laughs> not bore you guys with this stuff but I only used up one of these because I started using the makeup cleansers so I haven't been using a whole lot of these which is probably a good thing uh, I feel like cleansers are probably a lot cheaper than the makeup wipes because these are pretty expensive and when you think about how fast you go through 25 of these you're using at least one a day that's not even a month and those bottles could last me a really long time so I don't know I still use them every now and then though. Okay, so moving right along, this is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moisture Conditioner. I really like this stuff. I like to use this. Actually, I think I have my other conditioner in here too. This is the Macadamia uh, Natural Oil Conditioner. I use this during the week intentionally I use this during the week so I'm using it once or twice during the week and then I like to use this on the weekends now I did not repurchase this macadamia conditioner I got a uh, cheaper uh, like supposed to be the same kind of thing um, I kind of do feel like it's working but I'll try to I'll wait to tell you guys about that so yeah I definitely like to use this during the week I still am using this pretty sure I still have the moist 
I think there's like two, but I think I bought the moist again. This is really nice for the week. It's conditioning, but it's not like overdoing it. And it's just good for, it's just a good one to use if you're gonna use it more than once a week, if you're gonna be conditioning your hair frequently. And then this one, I think they suggest not to use it too, too much during the, um, to the, during the week. Okay, there it is. It says use no more than twice a week. And I only wash my hair like three times usually a week. So I usually just use this twice and then I will use this once typically over the weekends because this you have to leave them for seven minutes, which is quite a long time. But I tend to have more time to let stuff like that sit on the weekends than on the weekdays I'm trying to get ready for work. Even though it's like a few minute difference, it really does help when I'm trying to get to work. All right, next is something that I don't think you can buy anymore, and it looks like there's stuff in there, like right there, but it's just because it was sitting like this in the bag. This is the Short Sexy Hair by Sexy Hair. That's the brand. They don't make the Short Sexy Hair, like the short line anymore, as far as I know. Now, I bought this quite a long time ago, like over a year ago. It's been a really long time. I can't quite remember, but... I really liked this cream. I really wish they still made it because it did everything that I wanted it to do. I could definitely tell that it was providing some type of hold. Now I would, um, out of the shower, I would spray a heat protectant on and then I would put not a whole lot of this, but a little bit in my hair and uh, concentrate on the ends of my hair. And I just felt, I feel like it did a really good job. And I'm sad, but I need to use up a lot of other hair stuff that I have, like creams and like trial size stuff. So I'm going to use up all of that. And then maybe I will try to see if I can find that maybe on Amazon or something. But I have not seen the short hairline by Sexy Hair in Ulta in pretty much since I bought that. I have not seen it back in there again. So maybe I can find it on Amazon. I'll have to see and I will... If you see me with it again, you'll know I found it. So the next thing that I have, I'm gonna pull it out. It's just inevitable that I'm gonna have lots of this, by the way. Every empties video. Maybe I'll just stop putting it in here. I might, because you're gonna be really sick of hearing about this. This is the Baptiste Dry Shampoo for blondes. Well, it's for light and blonde. Love this stuff. Not gonna bore you with it. It's really nice dry shampoo. I use it on second and third day hair and it provides, it's more of like a yellowy color and not so much like a blonde color, but it's just the best stuff ever, ever. I did buy the Batiste in brown. I haven't used it yet, but I will let you guys know how I get along with that. Hopefully I like it. My hair is pretty light, so I'm not sure which color is going to be better, but that's kind of why I bought it. They had it in stock, and I have been wanting to give it a try. Okay, the next thing that I pulled out is the Clearasil Rapid Action Pads. This is for acne protection, and it just comes with like 90 pads in there, and I just pull them out. There's normally some liquid in there, but it's all soaked up. I just pull them out, and this is normally something I use in the morning. And I wipe it all over my face and I feel like it gives my skin that boost it needs to fight acne. Sometimes these can be drying, so I tend not to use them in the winter too much. But now that we're getting a little bit warmer outside, I have gotten back in the routine of using acne wipes every morning. Now, the Clear Cell one is really nice, but I don't always buy the same brand. I feel like I always switch it up to... Um, to surprise my skin, if that makes sense, so that it won't like get used to a certain formula, but I'm sure they're all pretty similar. But any of the ones, I haven't had any problems with any of them and they don't really, they all seem to do about the same thing. So I always just buy something different and whatever I can find in Target or Walmart if I'm at Walmart instead. <laughs> so next is something that I actually don't really remember using, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is the Smashbox BB cream in a travel size. I think I bought this to take on vacation and I guess I must have sometime this year finished it up. Uh, I do remember liking it and I didn't have any problems with it. It was nice because it had an SPF of 35 and I liked that it was in a small little tube. This was all of the face makeup I had to take on vacation. That was great. And I got it in the shade light. Um, but I did like this. 
If I ever am in the um, market for another BB cream, I haven't been looking at them lately, but I would definitely go give this a try. This or the NARS. Uh, I would also like to try that one, but this was a good uh, BB cream, especially with that SPF in it. I mean, that is, that's quite a lot. All right, so next, I'm getting there, I swear, I'm almost done. And then I've got even more stuff, like, you just can't even, there's so much stuff. <laughs> um, this was a little sample that we got, I think, in an Ipsy bag a while back. It's Eco Beauty good day day moisturizer I thought for some stupid reason this wasn't gonna last long it lasted like a month or more I used it every morning and I just felt like I was never gonna use it up and I finally did and I was so excited but this was a really good moisturizer I would definitely purchase it again I will probably forget about it though so maybe one day I'll look back at this video and say hey why haven't I given that a shot again but it was definitely very hydrating I don't know if this is going to be something for someone who has really oily skin. I have very dry skin. This worked very well for me. It does say that it's cruelty free, which is always nice. And yeah, it was pretty good. It was a very good size sample because like I said, it lasted me forever. So moving right along, I'm almost out of stuff, I swear. <laughs> the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I also talked about this last week in my video because I repurchased this from uh, Ulta, Ulta, sorry. Since this, I've actually already almost used up a whole nother tube. Like that's how fast I go through this stuff. This is again, number 15, the color 15, and it just has a little applicator that you take out like that. Gosh, there's a lot of concealer on there. Yes, just when you think you've gotten it all out, you haven't really, but it's probably like really old now. I don't know when I bought this. But I normally put it all over my face. If you want to see that, I did a little tutorial on my makeup, my everyday makeup video. I show how I put this on. But lately I've just been kind of dotting it around my nose and any other problem areas. But I haven't had too much trouble. And I also use it under my eyes. The last thing, finally, right, uh, is the Curel Hand and Cuticle Therapy Lotion. This was really, really nice. I was using this at work. I kept it at my desk and would put it on. I felt like I was never gonna run out of it, but it was nice because it dried up pretty quickly. Not, mm, dried up, not quite the right term I wanna use. It just dries quickly so I could keep working because I'm working with my hands a lot at work. So, and by that I mean I'm typing and using a mouse. <laughs> Woo! Working with my hands! So anyways, <laughs> um, this was really good. And it does also say that it lasts through several hand washes. And I will say that it lasts... I can still feel that it's on there even after at least one wash. So it's not going to wash right away really quickly, which I think is a good thing when you're looking for a heavier cream. My hands are super dry. I don't think I repurchased this. I think I bought a hand cream by Burt's Bees to keep at my desk and I have been liking that. When I run out of it, I'll let you guys know. It's not like monthly favorite worthy, but it's a good one. But yeah, this was a good one to keep at my desk and I don't know, gotta keep a hand cream there. I don't like to use it, but I gotta keep it there and try to make myself use it. All right, those were all of the empty products that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do another one of these videos soon. So I hope you like them because there will be another one coming up shortly. But uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at HairByLizzyBug. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. And until next time, bye. I don't remember using this. Clear as hell's nice. I said I had children outside, but it sounds like there's monsters. Who is using the weed eater right now?